Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, we're going to talk about a bug that some users are reporting in the October 2020 update or 20H2 and how to fix this if you need to reinstall Windows and want to keep your files using the media creation tool. So when you go and download the media creation tool, one of the options that it actually will give you is the ability to upgrade or to reinstall the feature update or Windows by keeping your personal files. It's going to remove everything else like the apps and the programs, but your files will still be there when you come back. Now, what users are reporting is something like this. Here you see the media creation tool page, but when you actually want to keep personal files and apps or personal files only, they're grayed out. You'd have no choice and you have to choose nothing, which means you're going to restart from scratch with Windows, basically. So this is something that happens if you want to reinstall Windows or if you would want to upgrade to some other version of Windows um, that would actually prevent you from keeping your files. So if that's something that you don't want, there's a fix for it. You have to actually go back to uh, version 2004 or the May 2020 update. How do you do that? Well, to fix this and have it working again, you will go into your settings. In the settings app, you will go into the update and security. Here, you will go into view update history. At the top, you'll see something called uninstall updates. What you need to uninstall is this update, uh, KB456-2830, which is feature update to Windows 10 20H2 via enablement package. This is what makes you update to 20H2. Once you remove this, it's going to ask you to restart your PC. Once you've restart, you're back at version 2004. From there, you'll be able to do that upgrade to whatever you want to do or that reinstall to whatever you want to do. Simply go back and reinstall the cumulative update to bring you back to the October 2020 update after, and it's going to be okay. I would guess that this bug is probably going to be fixed over time. So if it's not a rush for you right now, you don't need to do this. At some point, there's probably going to be a fix in one of the bug fixing updates. But it is a known problem. And this is how you can actually still keep your files, keep your apps, and reinstall uh, if you need to do so. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.